Alrighty, um, this is just a little showcase. I think I've done this before, but I don't fucking know. Um, on how to properly, well, how I merge my mods together. I don't merge big mods. I just, oh, well, I do actually. I, I merge towns and homes together and stuff. Um, like I have JK Skyrim, but I also have uh, the Great Cities. So some of some of the, some of that work. Um, of course, that requires a bit more editing on removing certain things from other mods so they can work together quite well. I'm not going to go into that. It's a little bit um, advanced, I guess you could say. Um, I'm just going to teach you how to simply merge mods. You're going to Google search Skyrim Merge Mod. It's going to bring you to this one. It's going to be the first one. And you're going to download it. Now, when you download it, if you use LE or SE, put a custom folder within your Skyrim um, EXE path and call it Mod Tools. And put all your mod tools in that. But of course, no folders for you. Yeah, as I say, I just call it Merge. All right. So desktop, uh, fucking common, Sky Special Edition, um, where the hell is it, Mod Tools, Merge, open up the EXE, fucking today, click on the game you want, okay, alright, so, plenty of mods here, but let's just, um, Modern Brawl Bug, nah, it looks stupid. Uncheck all. Because quite a few of these are actual, um, ESLs. So, I've already pretty much, I don't use Binjin's gear anymore, because I make my own, but I still have them here anyway. So, let's just say, we want two of these NPC replaces or follower mods, we click on them. We check masters. Doesn't always check the masters. Sometimes you got to go up and you got to hit dawn guard and all that sort of shit. Press OK. You still need the assets of the original mods. It it pretty much merges records into the ESP. It doesn't merge all the shit together. So if you merge the mod and throw all the assets out, it ain't gonna work. All right. So we want to go to add to merge. Uh, follower merge, you know they're not followers. Copy paste it. Boom, done. They added to the merge. Now we go to merges, and it's it, it, mostly it will be highlighted yellow. So when it's highlighted yellow, you go into plugins, check plugins for errors. If it's red, you can risk it. You can. Um, I think there's a. Fr I don't know where the fuck it is. Um, there is a way to dodge the red um, here somewhere. If it's green, you go build merge, and we'll, we'll install the merge wherever you first install it. So I removed it into mod tools, but I originally had the merge tool in special edition. So as you can see, I've got a merge thing here, and here's all my merges. But of course, so wherever you install it, you'll see you'll have the merge. So I go into merge. Um, it's not going to be put into your Skyrim data folder when you do build a merge, so venture, um, this one doesn't even work though, so you just, you don't have to copy the merge folder over, uh, just copy the, uh, the SEQ, that, and copy and paste that into your Skyrim data folder, and boom, it will pop up then in your mod manager, and you're good to go. Now use this for weapon mods. Um, like just common weapon mods, not, nothing that requires scripts, because I found that activators don't always work when you merge the tools. Um, like I've, I've merged Riverwood uh, Shack and River Fall Lodge, or whatever, yeah, the, one, the new one by JK. Um, I merged those together, and I went to go hit the house options to change the, the rooms into a child rooms, and it does nothing, so... Do be aware that not everything might work. Um, don't go merging quest mods together for fuck's sakes. Um, just like you know, you, you see a beautiful sword in the Nexus or a mace, and you, it's just just a crafting thing, or you find it somewhere. You merge that with the other things. Um, they're fine. Or you can turn them into ESLs. That's fine too. Um, I guess while I'm here, I might as well do the ESL thing again. So you're gonna need a an older version because I did update the game and it didn't bloody work. So as you can see, I'm running SSE Edit 
I, I did update and it gives you like annoying ads like yeah I'm sure like yeah um, I, you do need help but I don't want that shit shoved in my face all the time so um I've already got don't don't turn followers into ESLs because their face will go grey there is a way to do it by using test edit um to make sure like there is a way to work it and get it, but I haven't never done it I just merge my followers um so uh, that wouldn't be a smart idea. That wouldn't be a, actually. That would be a smart idea. Probably not actually a smart idea. We'll have a look at it anyway. Big patches like these sort of things, not always the greatest idea. Small patches for sure. So this is like the mess of children, and it's got 300. It wouldn't be the smartest idea to merge something like this. It could it could play out, but it, it might not. Um, what this does is just makes children immortal. Um, no, sorry, children mortal, so you can kill them, but keeps their child animations. You know, you can see them playing with dolls and, you know, laying on the ground, kicking their legs and sitting on chairs properly, as in their feet aren't touching the ground or their ass isn't clipping through halfway through the chair. So, yeah, edit. Yes, I'm sure. Click on the ESL. Remember, add this version. Um, new versions don't allow you to accept it all the time. 3.2.1, you go, okay, I'm not going to risk it because some mods you turn to ESLs will absolutely fuck your game. Like I did that with um, Immersive Taxes and I broke the mailman. He broke the mailman! Um, I completely broke him. He, he wouldn't move. He couldn't talk. His AI was absolutely rooted. So any mod or quest that I needed to have the mailman to send me letters just didn't work. So do very, be very careful with certain mods. I only turn very small mods. You know, as long as like if I see the data size is like one one twenty, I kind of risk it. Um, three, if it goes over like two fifty, I'm going like, nah, no thank you. Um, but yeah, just small mods patches. You know that bridge mods together. Like say you've got that um that beautiful um new Morthal mod that come out, which changes Morthal into uh, like a unique looking place and you've got JK Skyrim and there's a patch that bridges them together you can definitely turn that into an ESL small patches that just bridge mods together um, and that's how you do it of course you, you need tests you need SSE edit get that version and you'll be able to save ESLs you get a newer version the newer version won't let you save them as ESLs I don't fucking know why but that's a video on how to merge mods and turn mods into ESLs Good fucking bye. I've just finished work and two sessions of the gym and I'm absolutely rooted. <laughs> like and subscribe. I might do more of this shit later on. I'm, I'm actually, I really do want to get into a uh, video tutorial on how to make your own personalized followers. And my personalized followers, I mean, they're for you and you alone. Um, bodies, heads, all that sort of shit. I, I'm not too cluey on the hairs. I never bothered to learn how to make a standalone hair because I'm the kind of guy that builds a follower. Um, and then I like build a cute looking face and then I scroll through the hairs until I find one that really suits that face you know um, so doing a standalone would take me way too fucking long and I wouldn't know which hair to pick from if I'm only designing one every like five minutes so I'll show you that as for you you can learn if you want to make a standalone and put them on the Nexus you can do that a lot of the followers that go up there are pretty shit to be honest with you um, but how to make your own personalized followers and all that sort of garbage I'll do that later but anyway like and subscribe do what the fuck you want or I'll spot and kick you off the roof